For this technique, we are looking to make our letters dimensional. So one of the things I would watch is try to avoid curves. So notice how we're using diagonals, straight lines, horizontals to form our letters. Once you have your letters drawn with your stick line, then you're going to draw a block letter shape around the outside edge. Once you have the block letter shape, then you're going to connect your stick letter with diagonal lines to the corners of your block letter. So let's see this in action. One of the things that's helpful with this, leave space between your letters. So here's my A, here's my U, and notice I'm using um, straight lines and no curves, okay? Um, once I have all of my letters mapped out it, with my stick letters, I leave the stick letters and I draw a block outline with a little bit of space on the outside. If you have an opening in your letter, you also have to draw um, the outline on the inside of the letter where the opening is in order for this to work. So again, use your block letter to go around your stick letter. And then once you have that in place, then you're going to connect your corners with diagonals. Okay, um, this will create the the look that it has multi facets or a chisel like it's been carved out of stone. Once you have all of your um, lines in place, then you could choose to do some shading um, like the original example to also help these different sides really stand out. Now if as you're going, if something looks a little weird, um, for example, I did not like how the R turned out, I went back and redid it. I changed the shape of my R a little bit and then I was much happier with my results. So again, alter it, make it your own.